What's up? Today I'm going to show you how to get Pokemon from PokeGen to Pokemon Bank in X and Y, even though the Wi-Fi has been shut down. As you know, today was the doom date for DS and Wii Wi-Fi, and it no longer works. The original method of getting Pokemon from PokeGen was to make the Pokemon on PokeGen and then upload them to a website and download them through the GTS. But you cannot do that anymore. The GTS is down for all Generation 5 games. And they still haven't come out with a way to get Pokemon directly to X and Y. So this is going to be the way how to do it. The only problem is you're going to have to get a couple of things. And chances are you don't have them. And once you get those, it'll be really easy to do. And I'm going to show you the stuff right now. Okay, I just got the stuff that you need to have. Okay, so you're going to have to have a flash cart. If you haven't heard of one of these, what it is, is basically a DS game cartridge. And you could download ROMs off the internet. You could put them on the card. You need a micro SD card. Uh, just give me a second. It's hard to get out. You need a micro SD card. It's not coming out. Alright, here we go. You need a micro SD card. It doesn't matter how many gigs it is. And you're going to need the flash cart which plays the games that you put on the micro SD card and this is the SuperCard DS2 um, you could use any kind of flash cart really any sort of DS flash cart will work okay um, I've already made a Pokemon using PokeGen just for time's sake I originally made, me, made the video of me making Pokemon but it just took way too long so now I just made it through here. Um, if you don't know how to make a Pokemon with PokeGen, you haven't watched my first video yet, um, I'll put a link in the description of my first video edited, so it just shows you how to make a Pokemon with PokeGen. The original showed the old way, but it really doesn't work since Wi-Fi is shut down now. Alright, so you have your Pokemon made, but the only difference is, instead of making like a fake ID, you can just load it from the save file to have the same ID from your save file. And they even give you your secret ID, so if you've always wanted to know that, you have that now too. So what you're going to do is, once you've made your Pokemon, I've made Whale Lord, for instance, you're going to get an empty slot unless you want to replace a Pokemon. Like here, Box 4, you get an empty slot and you press Set. And you'll see that my Whale Lord is now, oh whoops, you'll see that my Whale Lord is now in this new slot. And with that new slot, it'll be in there once I bring my save file back to the game. So once your Pokemon in your slot, you can do more than one. Oh, whoops. If you do more than one, you hit save file. File on your desktop is a new file one. Now, since this is like new save file, you're gonna go go back to your micro SD area. Um wherever you put it gonna delete the old save file right here. Oh crap, stupid. Alright, so you're gonna go back. I don't know, my computer's running slowly because I'm trying to encode the other part of the video. I'm doing this video in pieces and it's been forever. You're gonna go to where you had your original um copy. The place. See how it worked this time? Alright, it worked. I'm gonna close that out. Pretty sure you, no, you can't do it from here. It's gonna go to your computer. Don't take it out just so it saves. What you're gonna wanna do is eject. So right click and hit eject. Save to remove hardware. And click it out. And now since we've done that, we can put the micro SD adapter, you can take the SD card out, put it back in the game. Hey guys, I just made the video way faster than normal. I made it six times faster not to waste time. It just shows me taking the whale lord from the ROM and trading it to the retail cartridge so I can throw it in Pokemon Bank. I just wanted to show you so you can make sure it's legit. I just had to go back and put the Pokemon in Box 1 because Poke Transporter only transports from Box 1.
this. I just had to throw a Whale Lord in box one because Poke Transporter is stupid. You have to transfer the, all your Pokemon in box one. Alright. Now I don't have to worry Okay, yes. Honestly guys, thanks for watching. Can you please just give a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It really helps my small channel grow. If this worked for you, please do that. Thanks. If you have any questions, I'll answer them in the comments.